Is Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop running for governor? Well, that's the question that I asked him when I met up with him for a one-on-one -on -one interview in Jersey City Monday. Demonstrations prompting a big police presence on South Street tonight. Good evening, I'm Tamara Lane. Refugees are welcome here. Signs are popping up all over Brooklyn. Behind me, you can see one of the signs in the window of a bike shop in Fort Greene. On the sign is the image of a refugee cradling a young child. The organizers of this campaign may surprise you. It was started by Jewish Voices for Peace as a part of their campaign to end Islamophobia. The EPA offered to come in and help in 2003, and the school district turned down their help back then. Will you and the state and the school district be accepting their help now? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, your apology to the mayor of North Wildwood, it came on the same day that you got endorsed by the Boston Herald. Yeah. Was the timing a coincidence, or was it an effort on your behalf to move past the storm and focus back on the president? No, it's because I had said it the night before. I slept on it, and I woke up. I felt bad, so I picked up the phone and called him. It was the only reason. And on the presidential campaign trail, more trouble for Team Trump. Another woman has come forward with allegations of sexual misconduct against him. That makes nine women in total. The Republican nominee again denied today that he had assaulted women and touched them inappropriately without their consent. While rallying in Maine, he called the allegations lies. You hear that voice? You probably recognize it. Yes, that is former President Bill Clinton in Patterson campaigning for Hillary. Behind me in the gymnasium at Passaic County College is former President Bill Clinton addressing an excited crowd. And he started off talking about something that's really important for New Jersey and especially Patterson, and that's lead in the water. I'm in New York where they're continuing to test kids for possible lead poisoning due to elevated levels of lead found in their drinking water in nearly half of Newark public schools. Members of the Jersey City Police Department were caught on film apparently not working. In fact, in some cases, they appear to be at their Jersey Shore home when they were supposed to be supervising off-duty assignments paid by the city. Yeah, it's no laughing matter, Bill. Check out this exclusive security camera footage. In it, you can see a clown riding on the hood of a car. A massive manhunt ends in a shootout and a terror suspect on a stretcher. Tonight, investigators descend on the home of the man accused of multiple blasts. Yeah, there is a good story coming out of all of this, and that is the story of the two homeless men who saw a backpack at the Elizabeth train station, opened it up, saw some bombs, and ran immediately to the police station. All right, guys, we're going caving right now. Follow me. I was a lost hiker. Off into the woods I went. Zip is gonna find me. I went far, so I thought that Zip would have a hard time finding me. I heard in the walkie, Zip is on his way and he's coming in fast. I think I can hear him. <laughs> this morning I woke up, I got on the call to come down and start chasing an alligator. So I did. I had no idea what I would find because A, it's an alligator and I am now in Flushing Meadows Corona Park, which is a very big park. I went to New York City's first ever kava bar. It's called Kava, kava Sutra. It is uh, the so first sweet. in New York City and it's the fifth in the United States. It's located on East 10th Street in the East Village. I went there myself to check it out and I've got to tell you, it kind of seems like any other bar, hey. but it is completely different. Ula, ula. Ula. By the way, everybody, I brought you some kava as well. They say if you want to be tough, you have to train hard. And here on some of the tougher streets in Jersey City, one man is turning the city's youth into champions. I want to put back into those who want to do it and to keep them from the avenues where I fell. He pays for everything out of his own pocket, but no one's turned away. If you can't afford it, his doors are open and he will train you no matter what. <laughs> I went to Streb in Williamsburg, where they are flipping the normal routine. Everyone knows that I am slightly afraid of heights, we'll just say. I held on and... First position, feet up on the box. Step on the box, really your hand. Get your hips up higher, right there. Okay. This is awesome and I am soaking wet. But we've seen, I think, three different humpback whales and uh, now we're chasing another one. Mm -hmm. 